We have had so much fun playing this horsey game thanks to Aunt Sandy. So I am just going to do a little review on it to show you. Um, this is what comes with uh, your purchase. You have a deck of cards, dice, and these really nice quality horsies. They're, they're heavy. They're not like a cheap material. So I'm going to show you how to play or how we play it anyway in case you guys are curious. All right, so the basic point of the game is um, if your horse goes to the finish line first, that number is the winner. So what you do is you deal all of the cards out. If you're playing with more than six people, you'll need two decks. And um, you'll deal all the cards out all the way around. So everyone has cards open. You can place them on the table. So I have that. Two queens, a jack, seven, and a four. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, all the way, um, 10, 11 is jacks, and 12s are queens, okay? So the finish line dots here as you roll, um, the odds, you know, are, are better if you have a two or a queen, because you only have to hit it two, three times to get to the finish line. So these will be my cards that I'll be playing. When the game first starts, um, someone will roll, so that's a seven, so that means seven is scratch. So you turn it around here. And then we actually use chips um, just to keep track of who wins. So whoever has a seven would turn it upside down. That card's now out for the game and you pay five cents because that was on the first line. So you just put five cents back into the pot. And you roll again, 11 jacks. Now jacks go into the second row. Now my jacks are out. And since it's the second row, five, 10, I'm putting in two. And then the next person would roll. They rolled an eight, so now eight goes down here. If you have an eight, now you'll pay three penalties. And seven again, so then you would just, whoever has a seven would owe five or one token. And then the next person would roll again, eight again, so same thing, anyone that has an eight would pay 15 or three tokens. And then the next person goes again, 11, same thing, two token penalty, seven nickel or one token penalty, nine. Okay, so now nine takes the four token penalty. So if you have a nine, turn it upside down and then you put it in the little pile here. So at the end of the game, you know, whoever is holding, uh, say my queens win, say I have this number 12 wins, um, then I'll get half of all of the tokens that are in here. Um, and so whoever else has queens, we would all split those tokens. So then whoever has the most tokens at the end of the game wins. And we usually play with six people and we go around one time and it takes about an hour. Um, so now that the game has started, we roll and now I got an eight. So if I um, roll an eight, since it's a penalty, I have to pay three tokens. Three, now three moves up, one. 10, out the gate. Five, out the gate. Seven, pays one penalty token. And I think you get the idea. Now we got 10, again, move that up. So that's how you play the game. And um, basically you just go all the way through to the end, all the way to one of your horses gets to the finish line. If you have that card, so in my case, if number four hits it or the two queens, then I would be the winner of the tokens. So enjoy, this game's really a lot of fun. Uh, we've had a lot, a lot of fun playing it and a lot of our friends that play it with us end up buying the game. So there you go. Also, if you're curious about how big this is, it's like 21 and a half inches long and eh, about 12 inches wide. So it doesn't take up too much space, it can store pretty easily. And um, the tokens didn't come with this. You can use 
any kind of like um, whatever chips buttons whatever you want whatever you got but you'll need a lot of them when you have a lot of people playing okay enjoy hope you get to the finish line